Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here of the official Android 5.1.1 uh, which I just got on my Nexus 6. Uh, it's going to be a very quick video this one because uh, I don't think there's been much in the way of major changes. It's kind of like uh, a minor changes to fix some memory leak issues which were lingering in Lollipop uh, as well as uh, some other bug fixes according to Google. So purpose of this video just to check it out basically if someone's like looking to uh, upgrade and they're wondering how the stability is also I might do a quick little and tutor as well uh, to check that out to see uh, if we can see an improvement from 5.1 which uh, I did do a video about that as well uh, you can see here in the settings we do have the uh, version number there which is nice so we still have this uh, interesting uh, kind of game here. Uh, we also have the changes that uh, 5.1 did bring on in the notification area. Just check out the multi-user here. So that seems to be working fine. Let's go back. So uh, let's check out the camera. I do like that simple sound that it makes when you're making a, a shot. I definitely think as time has gone on the uh, Nexus has been improved in regards to the focusing, uh, but it still could be better and so could my camcorders focusing so we still have a uh, panorama here which is nice and the photo sphere see if we still get the uh, 4k yes we do Let's have a look in the settings, see if we can see any differences. So I don't think there will be, but uh, worthwhile checking anyway. Doesn't seem to be. So probably another kind of uh, incremental, kind of boring update from Google here. I think there's still definitely some areas which Lollipop could be conf uh, improved. Uh, for example, you still can't uh, kind of use YouTube in the background, which to me is just like, even like uh, the BlackBerry Passport allows you to do that. So I think it would be quite uh, good to make that possible. Also, I think Google could definitely kind of make use of the big display here a little bit more probably uh, put on some multitasking kind of functionality but hopefully Android M will bring some uh, you know real kind of improvements but in terms of like uh, your day to day stuff everything seems to be working it seems and it does feel about as fast as the Android 5.1 as you can see and uh, also the multitasking so no issues there it seems do we get any new wallpapers? These wallpapers are put on it usually from the Play Store because the ones that uh, come with the device are a bit boring but there doesn't seem to be any new wallpapers or anything. So, nevertheless, let's uh, check out the Antutu. I will fast forward through this to see 
if we can see anything new. So last got 49,352. Keep that in your head. Let's go. So uh, we come to the end of the test here and uh, you can see uh, we have got actually quite a less than I was expecting uh, down from 49,000 to 45,148 which puts it below the Galaxy Note 4 here uh, which is on the table and then just up above the OnePlus One as well so a bit of a disappointment there if you ask me in regards to the Antutu benchmark for Android 5.1.1 uh, and uh, you know hopefully Google will definitely like bring some further improvements when Android M hits because uh, at the moment uh, I think I was expecting a little bit more when it came to Android 5.1.1 uh, there could be some underlying kind of uh, fixes though in regards to like memory leaks uh, as well as a battery life I'll keep an eye on that to see if we can see any improvements but yeah, just a quick little video here then, checking out Android 5.1.1 on the Nexus 6. Uh, do you want to install it? It's up to you. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Cheers.